The U.S. took another giant leap today in space exploration with a rocket launch carrying a new Mars rover. Along with collecting samples of the Red Planet, the nuclear-powered Perseverance rover will drop off an experimental helicopter and it will test technology that astronauts might one day use to live there. Now, this mission got off the ground with help from a company right here in western Washington. Yeah, it's really neat. Cairo 7 CD Sun shows us the key role they're playing from liftoff to landing. The plant here in Redmond created multiple types of engines for the Mars Perseverance mission today. And Aerojet Rocketdyne not only created those engines critical for the successful takeoff today, but also for the landing on Mars early next year. Zero. Release. NASA's latest mission to Mars successfully blasted off from the Kennedy Space Center. I think it's fantastic. We've been working this program for over seven years now. Fred Wilson with Aerojet Rocketdyne in Redmond says the company has supported every NASA research mission to Mars. Redmond is, is where we do all of the in-space propulsion. So I think this will be our ninth successful NASA mission. Their role in today's launch, 12 five-pound engines critical to lift off. Pretty important role, 12 of those engines, they, they all had to work successfully for, for the mission today. The Mars Perseverance rover's role once it gets to the red planet is to search for signs of ancient life. And it will dig into the planet's surface to look for long dead microscopic organisms that might have thrived there billions of years ago. Yeah, it would be pretty cool if, if we could uh, determine that. But before the research on the surface can start, there's another critical phase. The spacecraft must successfully land on Mars. The seven minutes of terror. The mission on the surface also relies on different Aerojet Rocketdyne engines for entry, descent, and landing. The engines keep the spacecraft and heat shield oriented properly, preventing it from burning up in the atmosphere. The landing at Mars, it all comes down to the seven minute window, you know, millions of miles away where everything's got to work perfectly. And, uh, so it's, it's a little nerve wracking. What's new this mission? Mars Perseverance is also going to bring a sample back from the Martian surface to Earth. So we're already starting to work with NASA on the Mars sample return mission. That will allow scientists to conduct much more detailed analysis. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? <laughs> The company says now after today's successful launch, there is a little downtime. Then come February when the rover is expected to land on Mars, there's going to be another frenzy of work and excitement. In Redmond, D.D. Sun, Cairo 7 News.